hey y'all how are you welcome today i'm happy you're here um yeah so are you comfortable in god's presence um whether you answer yes or no that's on your end but if you are comfortable in god's presence what does that look like for you you know and if you're uncomfortable in god's presence also what does that look like for you it's important to get to define what comfortable in god's presence means and what it looks like so that when you start straying onto the uncomfortable aspect or area you can be able to tell and a lot these two things that prevent us from being comfortable in god's presence um the first one is sin and our response to it and the other one is pride and we'll dive deep into sin in this video then the one next week we're going to look at the pride aspect so oh and the sun decided to shine voila when i'm in prepared for the cold weather <laughs> so sin how sin can help you no 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 how sin can make you uncomfortable in god's presence is you mess up and then you kind of start hiding from god so kind of how when you are a kid and your parents told you not to eat sugar or watch tv i used to be told not to watch tv because i could i don't know why i don't understand but my my parents would leave and they would be like you know don't watch tv all day then I would watch, I was like, yeah, they're gone, and then I'm bored, and there's nothing to do, and it's raining. So, what? So, and it was in that time when there was only cartoon for like 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening. So, what I would do, I would start watching TV. And I'm like, yo, they'll never know. But now, my dad found this way of knowing when we watch TV. You know, like the old school TVs used to get really hot. The ones that had like a belly and a back. You would put your hand on it and it's like mad hot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, your parents caught you like that. So my dad would come home and go straight to the TV and put his hand on it. And the TV is hot and he looks at me. And I'm like, oh, I've been caught. Oh no. So there's this time... I didn't expect him to come home early. So I was like, yo, I'm just gonna watch this TV. Then just before dad comes home, I'll take like a, a cold cloth and pat the TV till it's cold and he'll never know. And then I hear the gate open and I hear his whistling. He used to, <laughs> I hear his whistling and I'm like, oh, dad's home. So I switched off the TV and ran away and he came home. He put his hand on the TV and it was hot. And I just hear, I'm like, oh no. Ah. So only you can guess how that ended. <laughs> oh, actually, I think he was gracious about it. He just, I think he, he didn't punish me, but he made it very clear that he would know when I messed up with regards to watching the TV and I was disobedient. And I wasn't allowed to watch TV, I think, for a while. He was he was really lenient that day. But that's how we what we do with God. We mess up and then we run. Either we think we'll be punished or now we feel guilty. So we run and we see this with Adam and Eve in Genesis 3.10. So I'll read ESV. So... God went into the garden, just the background. God went to the garden in the cool of day to chill with Adam and Eve, as usual. And this time, God is walking, you know, like, yo, Adam, Eve, where are you guys? And Adam says, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid. See? Because I was naked and I hid myself. You can already see what sin does. He was afraid the same way I ran because I was afraid. I was like, ah. 
so and I went I think I went to my room and you know hid in the closet I used to do that but this is what we do with God you know it's you watch that show that you knew you shouldn't be watching again you hang out with that crew you've been alcohol free for a year and first time you don't even know how it happened you had a drink or you know you hung out with that crew again and ended up doing something you shouldn't have been doing and you feel so guilty and instead of going to god in that moment whatever struggle it is whether it's a sexual struggle emotional struggle you catch yourself trying to get affirmed fishing for compliments you're like uh-huh mm -hmm. and you're wondering why do i keep doing this i was sad and the first thing i thought of was buying ice cream i just want to eat my feelings and you like 45 minutes later of eating is when you're like oh, i feel awful emotionally i feel awful physically i'm terrible whatever it is there is a response we usually have is to run to hide from god because you're like oh i failed again i failed yet again ah oh. but we are told in hebrews 4 16 so let me just pull that up hebrews 4 16 i'll read the esv again let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need so what this verse is telling us number one you should approach god with confidence that's the best place you can go when you mess up like and not just go like sheepishly like hi god not that you know you can feel remorse for what you did but you should go with confidence knowing i will not be rejected i will not be sent away i'll not be reproached go with confidence so that you may receive mercy and you may receive grace and these things help because when you have been when you feel empty and you feel undeserving and you're met with love you're met with mercy and you're just the arms are open wide like come here i know i know come on you're welcome that's how god welcomes you it isn't more of like hmm i told you how many times how many times that's not how god welcomes you god doesn't give you a cold shoulder like yeah you did it again go away that isn't the god you are in relationship with so that's the first thing that makes us uncomfortable in god's presence if you can relate please put in the comments yeah and for those who don't know me i'm jean rehema or you can be bougie and say Jean Rehema. That's actually the correct correct pronunciation. It's a Jean. <laughs> but yeah, comment. If you'd like to interact with me, you can check jeanrehema.com. You can check my Instagram at jeanrehema. Put your questions there. DM me your questions or go on the website. Book a session. Fill in your fill in the surveys. I am Christian. I am a mental health coach. I am friendly. <laughs> yeah, and I'm open to interacting with you. Have a blessed day. God loves you. Do not ever forget that. Approach that throne with confidence and know that whatever it is that's holding you back, God can help you. God is stronger than that. God is bigger than that. Grace is there for you for that purpose and you do not need to carry this alone. See you. Have fun. Enjoy your day.